radio, be set radio, be set radio, be set radio. You hear the record spinning, yeah, we rapping every episode. Wanna shame the word he's giving us, we preach it everywhere we go. Be set radio, be set radio, be set radio, be set radio. Just the mission of what you guys were trying to yeah, accomplish yeah, yeah. once y'all got together. Mm-hmm. So once we got together, one of the things that was important for us was we were ministers of the gospel. Like okay. we were serving in our churches, uh, we were taking calls to ministry, we were studying seriously and sitting under discipleship. So for us, the first thing first was the ministry. The first thing first was being able to um, to proclaim this gospel, especially to our culture at the time, mm. was almost unheard of, you know, it was yeah. an oxymoron is what Cruz Cordero used to often say. Yeah. And matter of fact, it was very dangerous because in hip hop, um, hip hop was dominated by uh, five percentism mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Islam. And so at the time for you to be a Christian rapper and then to be willing to represent that in the streets, to be willing to represent that in the malls, that was, uh, that was kind of dangerous, mm-hmm. you know, in, in <laughs> Philadelphia. But our goal was, you know, almost like the Hebrew boys on their way to Babylon, they purposed in their heart that, you know, they already knew what the issue was, how they was going to serve God, and they, they weren't going to, you know, allow God to be defiled. And so when it came to, you know, sitting at the king's table or dancing to, you know, the musical bowing the statues, they, they already knew. That's why they told the king, even at the time, like, you know, we don't even have to think about this. And so I only make that point to say, for us, it was it was kind of uh, early on, we knew what we were getting into hip-hop for. We weren't getting in it to make a career out of it. We weren't necessarily trying to, you know, become famous um, for fame's sake. If anything, we wanted to make Christ famous. And so, you know, just going in, we said that. I mean, we, I mean, that was the talk among us. That's what we were on our knees about wow. and kind of encouraging mm-hmm. each other about on the daily was, listen, okay. um, you know, this could probably get tricky. I mean, yeah. we think we're going to use <laughs> the industry as a Roman road. Let's kind of make up our minds now before we even get out wow. here That's what good. we're about. And so for us, it was about the gospel. We felt like if hip-hop ever got taken from us, then hip-hop was only a tool we just used something else because at our core we were ministers we thought Wow, so the ministry was awesome. at the forefront yeah. even from yeah, the beginning. Yeah. That was Most part definitely. of the mission. Well, look, we're going to uh, stop here for a break. We'll be back uh, after this. We're talking with uh, Tonic from the Cross Movement, and uh, it's going to be a great, great discussion. We're going to cover a bunch of ground uh, yeah. just in a lot that's happening in our in that genre today, you know, just kind of looking at that, surveying that. And I want to hear, hear Tonic's take, even want to talk to him about where he's been. You know, it seemed like <laughs> what's been up, man. You know, so, <laughs> so we go. We're gonna talk about that as well. But uh, stick with us. This is the BSAC Radio Show here on Urban Family Talk. Our guest today is Tonic from Cross Movement. We'll be right back. Radio, be set. Radio, be set. Radio, be 